We begin tonight with breaking news involving a hostile work environment complaint filed against Cass County Social Services. A former employee is claiming that working conditions are hostile towards staff. A special meeting has been called regarding the allegations made by Jennifer Aldinger, who resigned earlier this year. Valley News Team's Melanie Palmer joins us now with details of her complaint. Melanie? Mike, Jennifer Aldinger says she was once told by a supervisor in the Child Protection Services Unit to keep her head down, her mouth shut, and do as she's told. She also accuses CPS management of ethical violations for holding off on assigning cases for over two weeks after receiving them. These are just two of the findings to surface in a Cass County Sheriff's investigation. It showed that Aldinger went to HR for assistance for what she called inappropriate conduct on the part of Rick Van Camp and Linda Dorf. In her letter of resignation, she said it was due to the appalling behavior exhibited by management of the Family Services Department, adding Cass County's disregard for the safety and well-being of children and families they have been entrusted to serve is something that she did not feel she could continue to be a part of. All of this and more will be considered during a special meeting at the Cass County Social Services Board on Monday, October 21st. Mike. All right, thanks, Melody. And in her allegations, Aldinger also cited an unmanageable amount of cases assigned to staff and how they led to the hostile work conditions. Look for more on that tonight on Valley News Live 10 at 10. We're barely into October and there's talk of snow falling in parts of western North Dakota. It's only small flakes at this time and they aren't sticking around very long. Let's go to Hutch for the latest on whether we should be worried about what might be happening here later. Hutch? Yeah, this is heading towards at least a portion of our viewing area as we take a look at our view from the Dakota Magic Casino. The roads there wet as a batch of rain has moved through. Most of the valley will be impacted by rain tonight. As you take a look at the Grand Forks area, some of that rain moderate to heavy. It's in central parts of Grand Forks County pushing in to Grand Forks, East Grand Forks at this time. We have showers to the southwest of Fargo that will be pushing through as well. It's out to the west where we have the chilly activity and it's spreading northeast toward the Devil's Lake Basin as well. Rain, a very good bet tonight. The best chance of accumulating snow down in the Dickinson area, one to three inches. But this snow band is heading in our general direction. Notice the deep blue colors there just off to the east of Dickinson. That's where we're getting sites like this. Now, grassy areas seeing some snow accumulation, at least the hot or warmer earth helping to keep the asphalt dry. And that's the case for tonight in Fargo. I expect rain to be increasingly likely heavy at times. Temperatures slowly falling. Grand Forks will be in the 30s by bedtime. We will see snow in our viewing area. It will be measurable in grassy areas and I'll have an hour by hour detail of that coming up here in just a few more moments. Mike, it's not right. No, it seems too early. All right, thanks. Kevin's been gone 26 years and he was 25, so He's been gone longer than he was here with us. A Dilworth family has been relying on hope to get through the disappearance of a loved one. For nearly three decades, Kevin Mahoney's sisters have been searching for information as to his whereabouts. Valley News Team's Joshua Pugero spoke with one of the sisters who says there's no closure until he's found. Every year on October 2nd, Kevin Mahoney's family stands here at University Drive and 12th Avenue in North Fargo. We just miss him a lot. We just want some closure for the family. They're holding up signs asking for the public's help in finding him. The Dilworth man went missing in 1993 at the age of 25 after leaving a house a few blocks from here. We feel he is no longer with us, but we still want to find him and, you know, put him to rest. Some people stopped to read the sign like this NDSU student. 26 years today. Uh, her dedication to her brother is, is amazing. It's hopefully she can find something about it. Hopefully she can find him. His sister finds it encouraging. It does help because we know people are, there's positive people out there that are rooting for us to get some answers. She says time is of the essence. His disappearance devastated the family, including his mom. She passed away quite a few, about six years now. And I just promised her I would never give up looking for him. She wanted me to keep looking, so. 
The Fargo Police Department tells me this is a very tough case to deal with. Just as Michelle wants her brother to be found, they also want Kevin Mahoney to be found to give the family some closure. In 2017, we reported that Fargo Police received new information on his case and gave it another look. Police say they never stopped working on cold cases such as missing persons. His family is committed to being on the street corner as long as it takes to find Kevin Mahoney. In Fargo, Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. And if you have any information regarding this case, please contact Fargo Police. The phone number is right there on the bottom of your screen. A high-speed chase through Grand Forks County has landed one man in jail. Authorities say it started in Northwood early this morning, then made its way into Grand Forks County. At time, the driver's vehicle exceeded 100 miles per hour. When it ended a few miles northeast of Mayville, Dustin Gebhardt was arrested for reckless endangerment, drug offenses, driving under suspension, and fleeing. Street North. Neighbors in that area say speedsters uh, like that aren't usually a problem for their quiet Roosevelt neighborhood, adding they're just glad no one was hurt. Could you imagine if somebody had like not looked or oh didn't hear it or something and walked up like they would be very, very long gone like that would have been awful. And while it's clear the driver is whizzing by at dangerous speeds, Fargo police say there's not much they can do as traffic violations must be witnessed by an officer in order to write out a ticket. More than two dozen Fargo and West Fargo kids stayed home from school today because they weren't allowed to be in class. Their vaccinations weren't up to date or they didn't turn in an exemption form. Fargo Public Schools says it works closely with families to help them meet the immunization requirements and overall families quickly come into compliance. October marks the start of flu season and 15 cases of flu have been reported already in North Dakota, four of them in Cass County. This might make you a little wary when getting a flu shot. Experts meet twice a year in the Northern Hemisphere, that's us, meet in February to predict the dominant strain for the upcoming year. The Southern Hemisphere just met in September. What surfaced was that two of the four viruses in our vaccines may not protect you this year. Really, right now it's too early to tell if there's gonna be a mismatch in the Northern Hemisphere vaccine. Um, just because what happens in the Southern Hemisphere doesn't necessarily translate to the Northern Hemisphere. To learn more about flu symptoms and where to get the vaccine, go to our website, valleynewslive.com. Essentia is offering a way for kids to get their flu shot and have a little fun as well. The healthcare provider's spooktacular flu event is this Saturday at the South University location. It'll be held from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. Now, kids can show up in their costumes, enjoy trick-or-treating, games, prizes, and more when they come in for their flu shot. Later on Valley News Live at 6, too much rain has led to a rise in the Red River. How it's impacting how some people get across it. And Mike, still more rain on the way for tonight. And by morning, we'll have details on how much you can expect and who will see flaky weather in the forecast. Your hour-by-hour details are straight ahead.